Then this is after some study of a 35 years old female with uh, pain, severe epigastric pain. And uh, in this view you can see that uh, this is the gallbladder. Human is clear, dependent vision calculi are seen, one, two, three, with posterior shadowing. This is the portal vein, this is the common bile duct. And there is uh, impression of, now you see that these calculi are lined up, one, two, three, four. These are lined up with the posterior wall of the gallbladder. And uh, as you know, in such cases, we always uh, have to see the size of the common bile duct. And uh, we have to see the common bile duct as well. Rather not only the size, but its lumen is important to see. Now this is giving a double barrel sign. Uh, meaning thereby that the size of the common bile duct is almost equal to that of the portal vein. This is the portal vein, this is the common bile duct. Now again, this is the gallbladder. The arrows are indicating the calculi layered out with the posterior wall. This is the portal vein, this one, and this is the common bile duct, CBD. So if we measure the common bile duct, it measures 8.1 millimeters, which is more than normal. Normal should not exceed more than seven with intact gallbladder, so the co common bile duct is dilated. <coughs> so now we would like to see if the intrahepatic bile, what is the status of the intrahepatic <coughs> bile ducts. you will see that there is intrahepatic <coughs> bile duct ectasia. This bile duct is dilated in the left lobe and uh, okay. whereas in the right lobe there is present in no significant bile duct ectasia in the right lobe. This is the right lobe. Here you see the portal vein dividing here with the if, if present then very very initial stage of uh, bile duct ectasia. In the, in the form that uh, if you see that here the ducts are so prominent. Oh, well. Why not me look Sure. My guess is well. But here can't you? No, no, it's not good. You're seeing the body of the mommy. You're seeing the body of the mommy. We are seeing the common bile duct, okay, with the portal vein. The bile duct is appearing clear up to this level. And, uh, okay, it is clear in this level. Let us see, it's, it courses the posterior inferior surface of the head of the pancreas. See there you. So let's see the pancreas. 
सर खिंचो सर रोको नाउ दिस इज द कंट्रीयर This is the pancreas, this area. This is the subcutaneous vein, superior mesenteric artery. So the head of the, uh, sorry, the body of the pancreas is fine. Let's go to the head of the pancreas. the head of the pancreas in longitudinal section this area this is the porto subcutaneous confluence it's clear <coughs> pancreatic duct is not seen dilated now this is the splenic vein this is the uh, pancreatic tissue so uh, up to this level we don't see any significant finding regarding the common bile duct so <coughs> this is a case study of very initial stage of uh, obstructive jaundice because of polycystolithiasis that this young this female is developing Now, uh, the findings also depend on the stage at which the patient presents to you. <coughs> If the patient presents earlier, quite earlier to you, then to mention that uh, these are the findings as seen on the date of ultrasound, because uh, they may show a variable course with time. So this is our study. Thank you.